Hola amigos de la revista Cosas, hoy estoy muy contento porque una personalidad que ustedes conocen desde hace mucho tiempo está en México y pues qué presentación, sino aquí tenerlo a un lado. Drake Bell, welcome to Mexico. How, how are you? Gracias, gracias. Mucho gusto. Oh, do you speak Spanish? A little bit. A little bit, but you are singing in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, I, I can sing in Spanish. Okay. Yeah. Tell me why did you decide to sing in Spanish? Uh, because pero mi mi fans out here are just like amazing you know and and about I don't know eight years ago I came and played for the first time and the reaction was incredible yeah I think so. and the fans have really embraced uh, my music okay. you know and and so I think just throughout uh, the many years of coming here and and being in, inspired by the culture and, and, and the music and, and everything. Uh, the last time I went home and got in the studio, this is what I was in, inspired to create. Okay. What do you most enjoy about Mexico? Um, no sé, I mean, it's everything. Uh, the food, the people, uh, You know the girls. Okay. Uh, um, the atmosphere. I just there's just some. I just love it here. I mean, I it, it feels like a second home. You know. Really? I mean, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Um, I really think it's the people. I the the, you, the the Mexican people are so loving and welcoming and and um, it's just such it's just such a beautiful culture. You know and and. Uh, every time I'm here, there, you know, because there's there's places you go um, around the world where you know if you try to speak the language but you're not doing a very good job, you know, they're like, Egh. you know, they don't even want to. But here it's like if I try to speak Spanish or if I try, they're like, give me A for effort, you know. They're like, oh, this is awesome, you know, and um, it's just. I forgot he was translating. I'm going really fast. <laughs> um, it's uh, yeah. I mean, I think. The best thing about Mexico is, is, is this Mexican people. Okay. Could you tell me, could you share a memory in Mexico, in a beach, with a people? Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, my favorite memories in Mexico are, are my concerts, because okay. that's when I get to see all my fans, and sure. we get to interact with each other. and. Um, There, 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 there's, there are a couple of um, um, times where I was just walking out uh, in the streets and uh, I got surrounded by fans and, and somebody had a guitar mm -hmm. and, uh, and so I just grabbed the guitar and all of a sudden like in the middle of the streets just put on a concert, you know, okay. and uh, that was a lot of fun and I did that another time I was just sitting in a park over in... Uh, like Polanco or like somewhere around here and and I was just sitting in the park playing guitar and then all of a sudden all these fans like started coming around and, awesome. and it was amazing and then I got to just put on a little concert and I just played a bunch of songs and um, it's really cool the fans here are, are really amazing what do you think about uh, Jay's music I love Jay I mean I Have think Jay's oh yeah moderato? oh yeah oh yeah I think Jay's uh, yeah I mean his voice is so cool man mm -hmm. It's so dive. I mean, he can do everything with that voice. You know, it's so cool. He goes super high and just it's it's amazing. He's he's very very talented and a great. I mean, just such a sweet sweet guy. You know, so every time I'm out here, he's not here right uh, this time. I'm out here, but last time I was here, we got to hang out. And usually, every time I'm here, he comes he comes to my concerts or. I'll, uh, he like at one of my concerts. He just he was backstage and uh -huh. I was like, hey, you want to play a song? You know? Play. Yeah, yeah. He just, he just got up on stage and just started jamming with us and stuff. So it's it's like a lot of. That's what I love about it here. It's just yeah. kind of like free and fun, and ev everybody just wants to have a good time and enjoy each other, and and uh, it's very happy, you know. Yeah. In your opinion, what makes you a successful man? I think just being able to have the ability and the opportunity to do what I love, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, people can have, you know, make 
a billion dollars or and and not love what they're doing you know or they could have to be forced to go to a job where they're not making very much money or they're not doing what they and, and they just they're not doing what they love you know and they but they have to because that's the way that they make their living or you know so i think just being able to do what i love to do like i you know work for me is fun is play it's uh people ask me what do i what am i doing when i'm not working i'm at home playing guitar, I'm doing I'm doing my job, sure. you know, because it's what I love to do. So, having the opportunity to, because everybody, most people's lives are spent mm -hmm. on their endeavors, on their job, you know. And mm -hmm. if you don't love what you're doing, you know, I mean, could you imagine like you? It's like you know, you, you, I'm sure you love being able to go and, and oh, doing what you're doing. But if you had to be behind a desk and tick 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 tick, tick every you know clock in clock, it drive you crazy, you know. Yeah, so, sure. I think. Um, I don't think it's the amount of really like money that you make or status that you achieve. It's really um, when you go when you get home at night and you finished your job. Did you enjoy what you did? Are you proud of what you've done? Did you create something that that uh, that's another thing too? I think having a job where I'm able to create mm -hmm. and, and and give something to to to, to people than just having to work on a project that my boss is telling me, oh, we need these things filed or we need this done by Tuesday and mm -hmm. get this thing. And there's no creativity and it's just, you know, just being able to do what I love to do, I think. is. Have you, have you felt afraid of your career? Oh, I mean, there's, there's uh, definitely uh, frightening moments or, or uh, times when you think, is this project going to work, or you work on a project and it doesn't do what you think it did? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a, you know, when you're an artist and you're creating stuff, not everybody's going to like it. You know, I mean, you get you get people on social media, especially now that everybody has an ability to share their opinion, sure. and you see it all the time. You know, there's definitely days where you're like, oh man, I wish I wouldn't have read that, or. Um, or you're about to release something new, and like for example, like Fuego Lento, you know, I, you know, it was a risk. Yeah, it was a risk. I didn't know if they would think I don't sound good, or it, the 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 Spanish is bad, or it doesn't sound natural, or so. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of moments in in your career where you're kind of just wondering, and and kind of scared, you know. Sure. Um, would you like to produce a, a movie or a documentary or something like that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I have a good friend of mine that I've worked together with uh, for many years, and uh, he's come up with a pretty cool concept for something uh, that uh, that we may that we may work on that I think would be really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, definitely. There's there's always opportunities. Uh, I'm always looking for opportunities to get into to film and, and television, and I've created. I've done a lot of. Uh, Stuff with the um, the cast of Drake and Josh mm -hmm. later that I've put on YouTube and things like that. Yeah. Um, but I'm just so focused on the music right now that, okay. and I'm just so in love with being able to get out here and, and do this. You know. Yeah, sure. It's much better to be able to come here and be in Mexico or yeah, go to different sure. countries and all that, or to be on a movie set uh -huh. in your trailer yes, in LA <laughs> all day. Waiting to be called to set, sure. go home. It's like school, you know. Yeah, sure. It's like school. This is like play. Yeah, sure. Your career has given you many satisfactions, but what has taken you away? It's it's tough to say that I've sacrificed because a lot of people ask, "Oh, did you miss out on having a regular life as a kid?" You know, and no cuz i was doing such amazing things i was traveling the world i'm able to go and meet so many different people and and see so many different cultures and and everything so um yeah i mean it's the travel is hard and you're never home and you know i don't see my family a lot and and things like that but um it just goes back to loving what i do you know i mean i yeah, I don't know if there's much. I mean, there's the obvious sacrifices of just you know life, but I, I just I love what I'm doing. Drake, and my last question is: Would you like to have children? 
Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it's you know uh, my buddy just had his baby. Josh. Oh really? Yeah, Josh. Josh just had his little baby, so I'm. Did you met? Technically, officially an uncle. Yeah. Sure. Um, but uh, no, I haven't yet because I've been on the road. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he had the baby. They had the baby, and literally like three days later, I had okay. to leave. So. Okay. Um, I've been on the road, but no, we've been we've been texting and talking, and and I'm gonna get together with them. We 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 hung out like right before they had the baby, and uh -huh. um, yeah, I'm I'm, just, I'm like what so excited. In, in you? Uh, what do you feel about this baby? It's it's wild. It's it's amazing. You know, I mean, I've known Josh ever since we were since we were babies. You know, yeah, sure. so mm -hmm. to see him with his little kid, and it's. It's amazing, and he's going to be a great father. I mean, he's going to be an amazing dad, and um, I'm just so I'm I'm so excited for him. You know, it makes me it makes me emotional. You know, it's just like, you know, growing up with somebody and seeing them their their whole lives transpire, and then seeing him get married, and then seeing them have kids. I mean, it's just it's it's amazing. It's inspiring. You know. Sure. Amigos de la revista Cosas, pues aquí tenemos a, a Drake Bell. Sigan al pendiente de, de sus fechas. Thank you very much, yeah, Drake. Thank you so much. Y pues nos vemos, compártanla.